In our morning rounds, jolting the brain to boost your memory, Northwestern University researchers say they can enhance memory, can enhance memory rather, by applying an electrical current to the outside of the skull. They say it has the potential to treat brain injury or Alzheimer's disease without drugs or surgery. CBS News medical correspondent Dr. David Agus joins us now. David, it's always good to see you. I'm telling you, this little device here is so intimidating. And I just don't think of the words electrical current and brain going together. So why well, Gail, are you so excited about this? Don't push the button, Gail. We've got to <laughs> yeah. be in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the year 200 A.D., the Greek physician Galen said, if you have a bad headache, put an electrical eel on your head. And ever since then, we've been using electricity for the brain. At the turn of the century, they use it for psychiatric disorders. Well, that device on your table, transcranial stimulation using a magnet, was actually FDA approved for bad depression several years ago. And a group at Northwestern mapped the brain and they showed that an area of the brain, the hippocampus, which is the orchestra connected to near the surface of the brain, and so they stimulated that area with that device and they improved memory 30% in young people aged 20 to 40. So David, when you actually apply this device, which Gail has got right next to her yeah. to the brain, and it, forgive I'm me, but- I'm trying to figure, what do you do? These two little red dots, do I put them on the top of my head or the side of my head? This looks like a 1960s sitcom device to yes, me. Yes, it does. <laughs> but how does, how does it feel when you apply that to the head, you know? Well, there's, there's not a lot of feeling to it. You hear a popping, so it's some, a little popping in the background, but you don't feel that electrical stimulation. It's not oh, like you see in the movies where you're doing major zaps to the brain. This is a small stimulation to an area that connects to that hippocampus that improves memory by improving the orchestration of the brain. So is it instantaneous or are you meant to do a treatment and then you have results later on? Well, in this study, it was 20 minutes a day for five days, and after three days, they started to see a benefit, and the benefit lasted the 24 hours they looked in this study. The key question going forward is how long it'll last, and what happens if you give it to people who are older with memory disorders? This is a pretty significant improvement, David. But I mean, how close to being available is this? How, I mean, are we months away, years away? Well, the device exists, but the studies to show what happens to people with Alzheimer's after stroke or other brain injury, that's going to take several years to get to fruition. You know, with any of these, if the data are dramatic, I bet you it happens a lot quicker. All right, Dr. David Agus, Gail, I think she wants to hold on to that. You're having so much fun showing it to us. Oh, Gail, you got to give it back. No, I'm going to send it over to Benita's. <laughs> I know where you use live. it. It might I'm make me smarter. Gail is going to be administering shock therapy at the end of the show. Dr. Agus, thank you.